uh, dear friends, we are very happy to have Laszlo Kosma from University of Debrecen in Hungary. Uh, the, the university has 28,000 enrolled students and almost 6,000 are international students. So you can imagine it's a university which has already international with 6,000 students. So over to you, Laszlo, for your presentation. Thank you very much for the word and welcome to everyone who are looking at us. And uh, first, um, we want to introduce you to the university in a general one. And in the second part, when I will speak, uh, we will hear about specifically about the engineering programs and the IT programs. But first, I give you I give the words to Dora, who will introduce the university. Yes, hi. So um, I would like to um, talk briefly about the University of Debrecen to give you a general idea of what life is like in Debrecen at our university. Um, so firstly, um, yeah. <laughs> um, just this quick background. So uh, the city of Debrecen, you might not be too familiar with it, so I would like to speak about that a bit. Um, the city of Debrecen has more than 650 years of history. It's the second largest city in Hungary after the capital Budapest. It's about 230 kilometers east of Budapest and in the northeastern uh, Great Plain area. Um, we are really close to a national park as well. Uh, we're close to nature. Um, and this, uh, this town is a true university town catering to students' needs. Um, so a bit about the life in the city. Um, you see here a few pictures about Debrecen. Um, we, are, we have a Calvinist church, which is on the main square. You can see in the first picture. We have a lot of forest and park areas as well. So it's a really green and safe environment for students to come here. Um, during the summertime, we have a lot of students um, studying and playing games and doing picnics outside. Um, so it's, um, it's really a, a nice town for students. Um, we have an international airport in the town of Debrecen uh, to multiple destinations within Europe, such as Munich, Eindhoven, Malmo, Paris, um, Moscow, and even London. Um, and we have more summer destinations as well. So it's really easy to reach us from uh, all over Europe. Um, a bit of the history um, of the University of Debrecen. Uh, its predecessor, the College of the, the Reformed Church, was established in 1538. Um, so it's a really, it has a really long history. Um, in 1912, um, the Hungarian Royal University was founded with uh, different faculties like uh, arts, law, and theology. In 1950, uh, the Faculty of Science was established, and in 51, uh, the university was divided in three parts. Um, those were the Academy of Theology, uh, the Lajos Kossuth University of Arts and Sciences, and our medical school. And in 2000, it was remerged. <laughs> so all universities of the city were transformed into one uh, giant institution called the University of Debrecen, as we know it now, with uh, more than 20,000 students. Um, a bit about the facts and figures. So as I said, it was first established in 1538. Um, we have 14 faculties as of now. Uh, those are medical and health sciences, agriculture, food engineer, food and environmental sciences, arts, music, uh, social sciences, natural sciences, uh, information and computer technology and engineering. We have seven campuses. Five of those are found in Debrecen, one in uh, Nidecháza and one in Hojdubosomi. Those are uh, cities close to Debrecen, obviously. Um, we have 28,000 students um, this academic year. Almost 6,000 of them are international students from over 113 countries. Um, and we have about 1,450 lecturers. Um, we uh, are really uh, highly positioned in international rankings, such as um, QS, which is um, a really prestigious ranking. Uh, we score it uh, between 650 and 700, um, and our medical and engineering uh, faculties do even better in these uh, international rankings. 
Um, as for the education, we offer 89 undergraduate programs, 88 uh, graduate training programs, five single cycle or one tier programs uh, with 170 teacher training programs and seven postgraduate specialist trainings. And which is also special about the University of Davidson is that we offer 24 doctoral schools. Um, so we truly are a research university as well. Um, so um, we have really close relations uh, with local and international companies as well um, that help us with our doctoral schools and our specialist training programs. Um, as I said, we have uh, multiple doctoral schools in the fields of arts and humanities, medical sciences, natural sciences, social sciences, and agriculture. Um, we, have, we offer uh, multiple programs in English, uh, more than 80 degree programs that we have running in English. We have single cycle or one tier medical trainings, obviously. We have numerous undergraduate and graduate programs. Uh, in engineering, IT, natural sciences, business, law, and health sciences as well. Um, uh, here uh, you can see um, uh, how the student numbers changed throughout the years between 2000 and 2018, and the ratio of um, Hungarian and international students. As you can see, uh, the number of international students is steadily growing. Um, so we have uh, one of the biggest uh, students, but uh, international student bodies uh, in Hungary and in the region. Um, what are international students uh, choose to study at our university? As you can see, um, a good bunch of them chooses our medical uh, programs and health sciences. Um, but now, in the past years, uh, that has changed, that has shifted. Uh, because we offer a lot of programs in other fields, just like engineering, IT, uh, computer sciences, etc. Um, the decline of the percentage does not mean that we have less uh, medical students, though it means that we have uh, more students coming for other faculties as well. So uh, the numbers are not declining. <laughs> de declining. Um, here you can see uh, the numbers that we have for each country, uh, how many international students we have. Uh, the most students we have from um, Romania, Nigeria, Pakistan, uh, uh, China, and India as well. Uh, we offer international mobility programs. We are part of the Erasmus, Erasmus uh, Plus and Campus Mundi programs. Uh, those basically mean that you can spend one or two semesters abroad during your st uh, or, um, original studies uh, and you get a monthly grant uh, that you're offered uh, for this uh, so to help with living expenses and obviously you do not have to pay an extra um, academic fee. Um, so uh, it gives you a good opportunity to be um, a UD student and still go abroad and uh, discover the world. <laughs> Um, we offer a lot of facilities and services to uh, students and international students. We have student residence halls, restaurants, uh, snack bars on campus, ATMs, multiple banks, post offices, gyms, and other sports facilities. Uh, basically, we offer all sports that you can think of, even esports. So uh, we do football, handball, uh, we have the gym, we have yoga, tennis. Uh, horseback riding and fencing as well. Uh, we have um, a national library with uh, over 6 million copies and we offer counseling to students who might need that during their studies. As for the student life, we find it really important for students to find their place uh, at the University of Debrecen and find friends and meet new people during their studies. Uh, that's why we have multiple um, student clubs, we have uh, the International Students Union, we have Erasmus Student Networks, and we offer multiple events, just like uh, U Day, which is a, um, a, a semester opening ceremony and show uh, that we have each year, which is uh, really spectacular. We have a freshman's ball, we have International Food Day, and other international events throughout the year. Here you can see a few pictures of our past International Food Days, which we like to call a multicultural pot. It's about people sharing uh, their national food and their culture and their music with each other. And that's where people usually go to, um, to meet new people and find new friends from all over the world.
Okay. Um, and now back to uh, Dr. Cosmo. Okay, so after seeing that this university is a really huge, very international university in Central Europe, in a small city, in a school city, one can say where the student life is very active. You can hear some details about the programs in the engineering field and the IT field. So first you can see the list shortly here, the list of the programs at, uh, for bachelor undergraduate studies. And uh, these programs uh, are really popular, so which means about 40, 50 students starts uh, for every major. And in the Hungarian system, you should know that the training for undergraduate programs are typically three and a half year long. There is one exception only, this is the civil engineering. Some of them, of course, requires very good mathematics and physics, others mathematics and chemistry. So depending on your choice, you can find your uh, favorite engineering program, I guess. The last one on the right side, you see the professional pilot training. This is a, a special program. It was just started two years ago only, but a good number of students, almost 50 students started this year in September, in the second year. And it means that the professional pilot training is an integrated program. It is not only an engineering program at the first sight, but uh, secondly, gives the all licenses for piloting up to the highest level. With the, moreover, there is a so-called type rating also in the program. So um, as most of these, uh, all of this program are, can be also supported by a scholarship where, about which I will give some details at the end about the so-called Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship. Uh, going to the next point, to the master programs. In the master, one can say we offer similar programs, but uh, these are related only to mathematics and physics. So it uh, can be a continuation of the previous ones. Uh, about these programs, uh, in some cases, there are several specializations, like for the mechatronical engineering, you see. And uh, where there are some specialties are uh, more deeply studied. And uh, there is a, again a special one, uh, engineering management, which is uh, offered for all bachelor graduates in engineering or computing field who can study some management studies. So it is a good program for those who want to be manager in the engineering field later on. And uh, these programs, all of them are two years long. This is in the Hungarian system, uh, four semesters, it means two years long study program. Uh, one can say that all programs are popular, which means at least about 25 students in each year and each majors. Uh, there is one exception, the engineering management is more popular, about 100 students start every year this program because the input is more wide with any engineering background one can apply for this program. These programs can be started in September. I have forgotten to mention that also, of course, the undergraduate programs uh, there is only one intake, the September intake every year. And this is the case also for the master engineering one. Let's go now to the, um, to the next uh, field, just to the information technology field, uh, where we offer some bachelor and some master programs. And um, uh, the first one, the computer science, the title is so general, but it means the programming. So in other uh, parts of the world, it's called uh, software engineering. So it's the programming database, database management, database programming. So this means the computer science, and it is a bit shorter one than, than the standard. So it's a three years long, six semester only. And of course, all IT programs require very good mathematics. So the applicant should be strong in mathematics, of course. The other two undergraduate programs, the computer science engineering, and also the business IT are three and a half year long. And um, after then, students after graduation uh, or students can choose a master at us or at another university. Of course, our programs are very well recognized, not only in Europe, but around the world. So it is typical that some students after graduating at an undergraduate program, after then they are going to Canada or UK to uh, or Germany to do some um, master program maybe in a shorter time than in Hungary, because in the Hungarian system, as I mentioned already, the masters are, all of them are two years long. And uh, we offer, my university offers two of them uh, in the IT field, the, again, with the same title, computer science and computer science engineering, but it means, of course, that it's a much higher level. 
than the undergraduate studies. And uh, now I want to give some details about our partners. Um, uh, my city, Debrecen, is a um, small city, as I mentioned, only 200, I mentioned this is 200,000 inhabitants, but uh, it is more and more industrial, which means that more and more international companies uh, establish here um, a small factory or bigger factory. Some of them are really a big one and strong one. For example, in the IT field, in the IT field, there are two uh, strong companies. One is the IT services company, which is a sister company of the Deutsche Telekom and uh, has almost 2,000 employees. Uh, and another one is the American-based company, the National Instruments, which has also a factory here where they produce IC cards and other parts for the computers. And there are also, again, more than uh, 1,500 employees. So they are big one. And these companies and the other, uh, has good cooperation with the universities, which means that the students or students can do the internship at this company. They can join some project works or some uh, new initiations, new uh, research fields. Uh, so you see here uh, also other companies which has a factory in at my city. And uh, the just on the left upper corner, you'll see the BMW. It is not existing yet, but is now just uh, started to to build the new factory of the BMW, uh, this car company will have a new company here, new factory here in about in one and a half year. And uh, already they established some relationships with the, with the university. And just for this reason, there will be a new program at the Faculty of Engineering very soon. This is vehicle engineering, which will be started uh, uh, in 2021. So almost in two years, one can say, but in that time, we will have the vehicle engineering. And uh, also, of course, we have a lot of other plans to develop our programs, also in the engineering field. Another one is the aviation engineering, maintenance engineering in aviation field. And also, we are also planning in the aviation field, aviation management uh, program, bachelor programs later on in 2021, basically, yeah. So, yeah, here are some other details about the cooperation with the companies, with the industry. And of course, uh, the, we are working with them, not only for the internship, but we have exhibitions and the companies comes and they give the job offers for the students after graduation. So because they are, they are mostly international companies, it means that the international students can find their internship place and they can get job after graduation. Uh, of course, these, uh, which I mentioned here, these are close relation and close uh, neighborhood of the university, of the city. But in Hungary, one can say that in Budapest, there are much more international companies where uh, or graduates can work or after uh, undergraduate program, they can for, for a master, not only at my university, but as I mentioned, easily in any other European university or maybe in Canada or elsewhere. Um, and this is the final point when I want to give some details about uh, the, the money issue, uh, which means that, of course, there is, uh, first of all, there is a tuition fee for these programs, which I haven't mentioned yet. I have forgotten to put a slide about it, but the range of the, of the undergraduate program is about six or 6,000 US dollar for a year or 6,500 depending on the major, and it's a bit higher by 1,000 for master program. So I can say six or 7,000 US dollar for a year. This is the tuition fee. And besides that, uh, of course, there are, you need uh, some cost for the living. Typically, we can say almost the same amount again. So like the double of the tuition fee would be the total cost for a year uh, in Hungary. However, if you win the scholarship of the Hungarian state, which is uh, called the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship, which is a very generous uh, scholarship, I guess, because it's a full scholarship. So uh, with a lot of countries, the Hungarian government has a um, bilateral agreement about the fields which are supported in the scholarship and also how many students can come studying free in Hungary, uh, including my university. And uh, it means really free because not only the tuition fee are covered, but also the accommodation is covered and the medical insurance and you can get some 
monthly stipend to support your living cost in Hungary if you win the scholarship. Something happened. I try again. Yeah. Um, uh, very close is the application deadline. You see, it is in January. Tomorrow will be just opened a new call for the next round. If you want to come from next September to study at my university, free with the scholarship, uh, 200 Indian students can win the scholarship every year coming to Hungary, study free. And uh, so you should check the website anyway, uh, because on, the, on our website, also on the Stipendium Scholarship website, you can find the details. It is an easy online application system. And uh, these programs which are listed here, the engineering program, the IT programs, all are, can be covered by the scholarship. Of course, it's a competitive one, and it may happen that there will be five times more applicants than who can win this scholarship, but it works uh, because the, if you win, you are really lucky. Really lucky, and the, the study will be for the whole program is free, uh, and uh, you can enjoy the student life in Hungary. Okay, so maybe at this point we finish our presentation, and um, I'm asking you to check not only the website of the university, but also the scholarship options. And now we are ready for the questions. questions and remember the name of the student whose question you like we need two name whom we are going to award a coupon of 500 rupees today so over to you Rahul. okay so uh, the first question about the living expenses i have told already that um, yes it is about six thousand usd for a year the living cost including accommodation and other living costs together it is, uh, there was a question about is there is some visa supporting from the university? Of course, of course there is. We have very good cooperation with the immigration office, first of all, and we provide letters, not only the letter of acceptance, but the special visa support letter. Moreover, the university covered the, uh, the tuition fee, cover also the medical insurance or the stipendium scholarship covers the medical insurance, so it is done. And we also provide some temporary uh, dormitory place for first arrival, which support uh, the visa procedure very well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is the eligibility criteria for the scholarship? It's difficult to say because, of course, you should be excellent because it's a competition, uh, which means that uh, not only the grades from the schools are important, but also there is an entrance examination. So that is. Uh, test for undergraduate studies from mathematics and physics, for example, online testing, and after there is interview for master applicants, there is interview for all majors, and after then the university decides who are supported, then we give a ranking of the applicants, and finally the Hungarian Scholarship Board will do the final decision about. It's a bit long procedure because it starts in January when you apply, middle of January, and the final decision is done by the end of May only. And uh, you see the, um, the steps and deadlines uh, for the decision procedure on the website of the, of the scholarship. For the professional pilot training, there is a question about um, the expenses. If you come with the scholarship, then it is free. There are some Indian students already with scholarship for the professional pilot training. Otherwise, it's very expensive, one can say, yes, for a year. It is uh, 34,000 US dollar for one year. So the total program is almost 120,000 US dollar. Yeah. But if you get the scholarship, it is free. Of course, you should be excellent because there are many, many applicants for the scholarship, of course. It's a question about here about the language test. Uh, we require TOEFL or IELTS? Not. This is the short answer. No, we don't require any official certificate, certificate about the language because we do the interview with all applicants by Skype. 
uh, and then we can check the level of English. Of course, it can help the application if you have already some IELTS 6.0, for example. Yeah, there was some question about, about nursing. We don't have nursing, sorry, in English. We have other health programs uh, for master, for example, the complex rehabilitation and another one is the public health program and the social health work. So there are some health programs, but the nursing we don't have in English, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah, here is some question about uh, aerospace engineering course. We don't have this course at the moment. As I mentioned, this will be started about 20, in, in about almost two years, 2021. So you can apply a year later for aerospace engineering. At the moment, we have the pilot training itself, professional pilot training. Yeah. Yes, which is the right university and the best scholarship offered for these courses? Yes, my university is the best best choice. Yeah. And uh, maybe shortly at the end of the presentation and uh, or discussions, I can make a short summary why. This is a public university, first of all, in the Central Europe. And uh, the degree is everywhere accepted, not in, only in the European Union. We did the accreditation procedure in several other countries where it was needed, especially for the medical programs, but also we are just doing for the engineering programs. So uh, the degree has a very high value. It's, it is a, a high prestige research university, a public university with long, long tradition to teach. Uh, for students and especially either for international students because we started 32 years ago to teach in English for international students step by step we extended the number of programs at the moment as I have you have heard already about 80 programs are offered in English starting with some preparatory courses then bachelors about almost 30 bachelors program another 30 masters and uh, 20 20 24 doctoral programs I haven't mentioned yet the PhD programs, but there are also PhD programs a lot at my university. Yeah, do, you, do we have biochem, biomedical engineering master? No, we don't have, unfortunately. This we have a molecular biology program, which is a closer a bit to that one, but this is not engineering, but a science program. Can you see the last question now? Can you make it last question? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, for some of the questions I replied already, this is private or government. Yes, it's a government university, totally. But unfortunately, some students should pay the tuition fee. Mostly international students have to pay if they want to study here in Hungary. This is the reason. Yeah, For PhD in electronics and communication, it is uh, electronics is possible. In the communication field, unfortunately, we don't have PhD program at the moment. So, I guess. Now, thank you very much. Yeah. If you can announce two names. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first one is definitely Nazifa because uh, they asked uh, multiple questions that we answered. Um, and the second one is the person who asked. Um, which one? The, the person who, who who asked about the. Um, the aerospace engineering program uh, coming up, uh, but I didn't catch the name, unfortunately. So if we could go back to that. What was the first name? Can you first uh, name? I think it was Nazifa. It was N-A-Z-I-F-A. -A. Nazifa, OK. Thank you. Yeah, because they have multiple questions. So. OK, and the second one? As aerospace. <laughs> Yeah. Shamik Shah Kemka. Who? Samik Shah Kemka. Samik Shah Kemka, okay. So thank you very much. Uh, it's been an excellent presentation, Professor. And I hope uh, after today's presentation, you'll have a lot of queries from Indian students. After our webinar, what we are going to do is we'll be sharing with you the students who participated in your session, the questions which they asked, and we'll be happy to take it forward of any suggestion you have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.